Parker, I'm, I'm curious about um, how you got started playing slide guitar in particular. Uh, yeah, um, I, I grew up, my dad, when I was growing up, listened to a lot of blues music. Um, like, some of the first records I remember listening to were, uh, like, Keb Mo and Taj Mahal and Ry Kuda records. Mm -hmm. So uh, I've always known that sound, you know. Um, so, you know, I played just regular guitar for quite a while, and uh, eventually, you know, I wanted to make that sound. So I went and bought a slide and... Uh, fumble around with it for a very long time <laughs> until I discovered open tunings. <laughs> nice, nice. So, and so what when you when you are doing slides, what, what kind of open tunings are you using? Uh, normally I keep this one in open E, but uh, I also do open G for certain things. Right. So right. but mostly open E. And did you uh, did you take lessons for this kind of stuff or did you just, you know, pick it up yourself or what was your I took lessons for a long time, but not for slide. Slide was one of those things, like, it's funny, like, the two things that I use the most, slide and finger picking, uh, are things that I kind of went and kind of figured out on my own. You know, I had teachers um, who play slide and finger picking, but, like, when I was taking from them, I wasn't quite ready for it. So, you know, later on, uh, I kind of went back and tried to figure it out. So. Cool. Uh, tell us a little bit about this. Gibson here that yeah, you've got. This is Where, a, where'd you pick that up? This is a 1952 LG1. Uh, I got it in Oklahoma City at a store called Lone Wolf Guitars. Um, it's where I bought both my guitars. Actually, my, my other guitar, my Martin, uh, my dad bought for me when I was like 15. We walked in and uh, he said, you know, I was playing a bunch of them. And he said, do you like that one? And I said, yeah. And he said, all right, pack it up. I said, are you sure? And and he said, don't ask me again or I'm going to change my mind. Like, go up to the front and tell him to put it in the case and we're taking it home. And so I did. And uh, so, you know, a few years later I went back and wanted, to, you know, something specifically for Slide and uh, found this. It's, I really love it. Uh, this song is called Land of the Red Man.
so the guitar playing, you know, is something that you learn over time. Uh, the, the sort of the God-given gift that you've got here is your voice. Um, and tell me about, have you had to develop that style of singing, that kind of really blues, really, you know? Yeah, um, it was, I mean, yes and no. Uh, I say, I've been singing, you know, I grew up in church, so I've been singing, like, since really small. And, um, and then after you sing, when you grow up in a Pentecostal church, you know, you hear somebody yell for an hour, you know, like the sermons are very, loud and powerful and it's like listening to Helen Wolf you know like yep. that's it's kind of like that but it's a sermon uh so and growing up listening to blues like I already had kind of that sound in my head um but then you know at some point I got really into guitar and decided I'm just going to be a guitar player and like I stopped singing for a while and then when I started singing again like you know they're recording somewhere of me like trying to sound like I do now but it doesn't like I was 13 or something you know it didn't work <laughs> so um yeah, and, and eventually, you know, I learned just, like, a lot of it's just breath control, you know, and, like, not trying too hard. Are there any slide guitar tricks or, or sort of tips that you have for people who are, you know, maybe thinking about tuning their guitar to a G or something? Or uh, is there anything that you... Yeah, um, the thing that I mostly do, and this is an E right now, I think. Yeah, it's an E right now. Um, they're, like, it's just, like anything there's like a little box that I mostly use and most of it has to do with like you know that's where most of it exists is which I think is probably just a pentatonic you know yeah. but um you can just you know sliding up with that with that half step thing is where a lot of my stuff exists you know and it's and you know I didn't realize it when I started doing it uh but that's what Rykuter does. Like a lot of Rykuter licks exist in this like little, you know, that kind of thing. And mm -hmm. uh, I think that that, because that's what I grew up listening to a lot of, that's kind of where my ear went, you nice. know. So cool. that's pretty much the only trick I know.